Hey guys, this is Justin with a video on setting up two laptops and one shared monitor. This is a wildly popular setup and one of our easiest and most reliable. So if you're new to KVMs, this might be a great solution for you, especially if you're working from home and you're trying to juggle a work laptop and your personal laptop. It's going to make your life so much easier. This video is only if you want to use one external monitor. If you have two computers and two monitors, you're going to need a completely different KVM and we're going to link that in the video description below. Before we dive in, here are the timestamps if you want to jump ahead. All right, so today we're going to use a 2019 MacBook Pro, Lenovo C940, as well as a Dell 34-inch monitor and Microsoft's ergonomic mouse and keyboard. Also, we're going to use a powered USB hub that we're going to use to connect a webcam as well as a headset and show you guys how to set these up to teleconference with either computer. The KVM we're featuring today is T-Smart's 2x1, which is our all-time bestseller. Each of these components are linked in the description below if you want to build a similar setup. To switch the laptop that is displayed on the monitor, you simply press the yellow button or use the hotkey trigger, in this case, scroll lock, scroll lock 1, or use the included remote control by pressing the input number you want to select. Whichever device is selected will have access to everything plugged into the KVM, including the mouse and keyboard, and any devices you have plugged into the USB 2.0 port, like a webcam, printer, or a jump drive. This KVM has EDID with dynamic device mapping, which is a fancy way of saying the computers will keep the windows and the icons in the same place when using the other computer. This makes it very convenient to use one external monitor while still having access to other laptop screens. All right, let's get into the unboxing, and after that, we're going to show you how we set everything up. It's pretty straightforward. So we open up the box. We've got our manual, our KVM. Underneath the KVM, we have the rest of the contents. We have two KVM cables the remote control, and the AC adapter. First, we're going to start with the Lenovo, and we're going to use a Type-C to HDMI adapter and a regular USB cable. If you don't have a regular USB cable, you can take one of the KVM cables, and you can pull apart the USB side from the HDMI side. Okay, so connect the USB. Now we'll connect our Type-C to HDMI and get the power cable. Then we get some power. Let's go ahead and put this over here. Next we have our MacBook Pro. And here we have a multi-port adapter with an HDMI and a USB. Get the power for the Mac. Okay, that's connected. Go ahead and put that over here. Now finally we have our mouse and keyboard. So let's go ahead and start connecting everything. You can plug this into the keyboard port and then into PC1. Now we're going to connect this to PC2. Now we're going to hook our monitor cable. Then we're going to hook the power for the KVM. Okay. Now that we've got everything, let's go ahead and open up. And let's turn on the KVM. And here you can see we've got online one and online two, which means we have USB connections. We have number two selected, which is going to be the Lenovo. And come here. You can see we've got mouse and keyboard, extended screen over here. Now if we want to switch over to the Apple. And here we've got the extended screen. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and come back and show you how to set up the teleconferencing. All right, so first we're going to start with our powered USB hub. Connect that USB 2.0 port. We get our power. Now we're going to grab our Logitech 
webcam here. Put that in. Then we're going to grab our headset, which we have a wireless headset. Plug it in here. Now let's go ahead and make sure everything works. Got Zoom loaded here. So come check our settings. Our video. Oh, see, here's our video. And audio, test that. Check, check. We're getting audio. Now let's say you actually had your meeting on your Windows PC. You can jump over really quick. You can go to your settings here. Video. Got video. Check our audio. Check, check. And we've got audio here. We're good to go. So it's that easy. As you can see, this is a pretty easy setup. And once we took care of some of the cable management over here, it looks really good too. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or open a support ticket by clicking the orange support button in the lower right hand side of buytsmart.com. You'll receive a confirmation of your ticket number and will respond within 24 hours. Thanks and have a good day.